the Philippines, my final frontier. These are the journeys of a Florida man, my five-year mission is to explore a strange new world, to seek out a new life and friends, to boldly go where no expat has gone before. Look at that. Oh my god. That is a feast right there. That is some feast. And all the feasties. The feasties. Hey. What a family. Look at this. Look at this. We got the whole family here. Nice. Who you? We we forgot him. And me. Oh god, and him. All right. We got you. In progress right now is a fence that we're going to be building to cordon off this area from stray dogs and stray people and stray cats and all sorts of stray things. Hmm. These are the posts. There's actually rebob. Rebob and cement in the posts. Unique construction. And the work must continue here at the small house. Okay, we have a little update. The guys are hard at work on the job, doing a great job of building our little uh, enclosure here. Uh, they're putting up some cross beams, it looks like, uh, for some sort of a roof. I think we have some uh, roofing material left over from the main, main job here. Um, they got the columns up yesterday, uh, uh, PVC columns, they call it. Uh, they are cement filled with rebob. Um, now they're doing a bit of uh, spot welding, I guess, to weld these cross members to the rebob. And uh, they're going to be making uh, a nice little uh, enclosure. We have a steel cage type material that's going to be uh, seven foot high. This is a seven foot high uh, roof. Uh, uh, not roof, a uh, seven foot high enclosure, I guess you'd say. The roof is seven foot high. Uh, and uh, it's coming along nicely and uh, very excited to have a uh, enclosure here. So that's the end of this update. See you guys later. Bye. Wow. Lots of fittings, rebob, cementy things. <clears throat> I'll give it to me. You gonna take a video? Yeah, it's 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 always running. You guys are gonna all be stars, YouTube stars. <laughs> There's a YouTube there, Facebook only. Oh. oh we we put this on well it's also on Facebook. Yes. She puts it on Facebook, I put it on YouTube. What's the name of YouTube? YouTube, YouTube it's it's called uh, Florida Man Journey. Florida Man Journey. Because I'm from Florida. <laughs> oh, looks like they got the uh, skim coat going here. First white coat on this side here. As I said, they're progressing from west to east in the build. And it's hard to tell you exactly what they're doing at any given point because there's so many people doing so many different things simultaneously uh, that uh, it's not like, oh, this day they're going to do that. This day they're going to do that. It's just a continuation of things that they're doing as they move uh, from one side of the, the project to the other side. 
So it's not a clear cut description every day of what's going on because everything is going on every day. The wall looks like it's coming along nicely. It's going to be a four foot wall and then it's going to have metal bars as well. We specified four foot this way. Um, any traffic motorcycles that, that decide to use that right away won't be kicking up dirt over the fence. Plus the dog or dogs, actually, there will be dogs. Right now there's Tyrion. Tyrion will have a brother or two by the time we move in or just after when we move in. Two or three shepherds to roam around and have fun play in the sun and keep us safe at the same time. This rear wall, like I described before, will be 10 foot high and there will be provisions to make a roof for a carport slash solar panel roof. Very little shadows here. It's what, one o'clock in the afternoon. There shouldn't be any shadows anyway, and there aren't. But even in the morning, there's just a, a little bit of shadows coming from this direction. Not much. So we should get good coverage all day long with those solar panels. Just a few days ago, we were here, and this wall was not here. It appeared, you could say, almost overnight. But there it is. I think it's about a 100 foot run, pretty much, on this side. Yes, he's getting ready to make some machine hollow block. brand new little baby hollow blocks are born. Hi. <laughs> I didn't even see you up there. <laughs> on the windows 
I guess. We did order the windows, a very high quality aluminum window with six millimeter tempered glass, which uh, we saw a sample of, and it was uh, quite impressive. Three tracks, separate track for the screen, metal mesh, lifetime warranty on that alone. And uh, yes, there was an added expense, but coming from Florida, I believe that is well worth the money. Living in a hurricane zone, you get to realize these things. People who come out here and don't live in a tropical environment like Florida have no idea. Well, maybe they do. There, there is severe weather across the United States, tornadoes and, and things like that. But in Florida, it, it's the building code. Everything is built to withstand hurricanes. But here, they definitely know how to build for hurricanes. These are 100% cement and brick structures. There's no wooden framing here. There's no house built on a, a cement slab. These foundations go down six feet, anchored in steel and cement. They're not fooling around here. This type of construction in the United States would cost a bazillion dollars just on the labor alone. But the one thing about the Philippines is that labor is cheap, is why we get to build these houses for a half or one third the price it would cost in the States. The only downfall of this type of construction is you're not going to get a uh, cell phone signal from the outside to penetrate these walls. No 5G, no 4G, no LTE. Forget about it. You got to be standing outside. And then if you're lucky, if you're within the range, you have a chance. But if you're inside the house, you can forget about it. It ain't gonna happen. You need you need a you need a wired connection to your Wi-Fi system to get any kind of signal in the house. And then you may need some repeaters because these walls are everywhere. There's no sheetrock here. Welcome to Internet Installation Day in the Philippines. And of course, nothing is going right. It seems that they can't pull the wire. This seems to be stuck, so they can't thread it through. This guide wire is stuck or something. So I have no idea what they're going to be doing. Drilling more holes in the walls or... And we got things going on in the bathroom because there's a crawl space up there or something. I don't know what's going on. Oh god. Yeah, he's in the roof. After four days of no show, they show up unexpectedly out of the blue. That's where it's supposed to go. All right. Now we're getting somewhere. I have no idea where we're getting, but we're getting somewhere. Yeah. 
No extra holes anywhere. Okay. This is the preliminary setup of the server and we also have Cody and Roku and uh, Magic Jack telephone uh, all set up with the uh, Converge fiber optic modem. This is fiber optic to the modem. Uh, even, even in the States uh, we had Comcast and we had fiber uh, to the pole and still an extra, I don't know, 50 feet or so um, to the house was not fiber. Uh, so this is even an improvement upon Comcast, which is pretty incredible. This is actually fiber in the house and fiber plugged in to the router. Um, the Converge. This is an amazing thing for the Philippines. Uh, I can hardly believe it. We're getting um, uh, over 100 megabytes up and down for $35 a, a month, which is very respectable. So, I can't complain. I was thinking about getting Starlink, but uh, that's over $100, and I don't really need the speed um, at this point. Uh, we'll see how it goes. But right now I'm very happy with, with 100 up and 100 down. In the middle of nowhere, hmm, uh, I'm getting some incredible speeds. And it looks very reliable. Very, what, 13 uh, uh, um, microsecond uh, ping rate. Uh, very, very nice signal. So, anyway, there it is. And... Uh, We'll give you another red tape when it's cleaned up a bit. It's not cleaned up at this point. And we have sunrise over the rice field. Very rainy evening. My God, was it rainy. Anyway, I'm here to show you some of the work that was done. be the roof of our little overhang. And hopefully today they'll continue the work. No. That's it.
know that we live out in the province, but who let the cow into the bathroom? That's terrible.